Baltz Bears, can you believe it? The 100th episode! Welcome, Baltz families, to this week's Sunday Storytime. Get ready to mark your calendars with this week's news and coming events, which will be followed by a new story for the week. Can't wait to find out what it is. And the final segment will be our Mindful Minute with Mrs. Papa. Stay tuned. In this week's events at Baltz, this is a reminder that it's important every single day before leaving your home to check for signs or symptoms of illness using the COVID-19 self-screener. This is for staff and students. And after you consider each item on the screener, if your answer is yes to any of those questions, you do not come to school or work. And instead, you need to contact your healthcare provider and notify the principal and the school nurse that you won't be there. This is very important as we continue to fight the spread of COVID. Esto es un recordatorio. Es importante que antes de irse a su hogar, verifiquen para señales o síntomas de alguna enfermedad utilizando el autoexaminador de COVID-19. Esto es para los empleados y estudiantes. Y luego de verificar cada punto, si contestaste sí a cualquier pregunta, no puede venir a trabajar o a estudiar. Debe de contactar a su doctor y notificar a la enfermera y a la principal de la escuela. Esto es muy importante ya que estamos combatiendo la difusión del COVID-19. Mark your calendars. There will be no school for students on Monday, January 17th, in observance of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Marquen sus calendarios. No hay escuela para estudiantes el lunes 17 de enero en observación del cumpleaños de Martin Luther King Jr. There is no school for students on January 26th. It is a grading day for teachers because the marking period will end on Tuesday, January 25th. También no hay clases para estudiantes el miércoles 26 de enero ya que sería día de calificaciones para nuestros maestros, ya que el 25 de enero culmina el segundo trimestre. Picture Retake Day has been rescheduled. It's happening on Friday, January 28, 2022. For anyone who didn't have their picture taken the first time or who would like their picture retaken, you can have it done on January 28th. El día de retomar fotos es el viernes 28 de enero para aquellos que no pudieron sacar sus fotos la primera vez o gustarían retomar sus fotos, ya pueden hacerlo el 28 de enero. Welcome, Baltz families and community members. We are so excited that you're here for a special episode of Sunday Storytime. It is our 100th episode. My name is Amy O'Neill, and I'm the principal here at Baltz. And tonight, along with Mrs. Palma and a whole host of others, we're going to be reading the story, What the Road Said, by Cleo Wade, illustrated by Lucy de Moyencourt. Have you ever wanted to go in a different direction? Have you ever wondered if there was something more, something out there, something just different? I did too. And then one day I was walking my usual way home when out of nowhere, for no reason at all, almost as if it were magic, a road appeared. I could not believe my eyes. So I walked over to it and... I said to the road, Where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. How do I start? I asked. The road smiled and said, you have already started. Well, what happens when I get there? We have just begun, said the road. Do not skip straight to the ending. Enjoy the beginning and the middle too. Which way do I go? That is your choice to make, said the road. But what if I go the wrong way? The road curved a little, almost as if it was going to give me a hug, and then said, do not worry. Sometimes we go the wrong way on our way to the right way. What if I get scared? That is okay. You are brave, said the road. But what does it mean to be brave? I asked. The road guided me through a very gloomy forest. Even though I was frightened, I trusted the road. And as I took one step and then another, after that, the road gently whispered. Being brave is when you are afraid of doing something, but you do it anyway. 
Do not let what scares you keep you from continuing on your path. Will I always move forward? Not always, said the road. Why not? Because sometimes you're going to stumble backwards and sometimes you're going to stay still. What if I fall? Everyone falls at some point, said the road, but I will always be there when you land. What if I get lost? There may be some days that feel long and dark, said the road, but I promise that no matter what, I will give you the evening stars and the morning sun to light your way. What if I grow weary or get hurt? I will give you the trees of all shapes and sizes to shelter you when you need rest and to heal, said the road. What if I get lonely? You are never alone, said the road. What if I change? Come with me, said the road. And as I moved forward, the road introduced me to a caterpillar and a family of seeds. We didn't stay long. The road began taking me on a journey through the seasons. I watched summer turn to fall and fall turn to winter. And as spring was upon us, I realized that we'd gone in one big beautiful circle. I looked down and found I was standing in front of the caterpillar and the seeds once more. Only the caterpillar wasn't a caterpillar, and the seeds had changed and turned to flowers of every color, swaying in the sun. The road then raised me up and said, all things grow and change. That is the magic of being alive. You too will find your wings. You too will bloom. No living thing is meant to stay the same. What if I need help on my journey? Ask your fellow travelers along the way. What if they are mean to me? Lead them to kindness, said the road. How? By being kind. What if they want to fight? Lead them to peace, said the road. But how do I lead them to peace? By listening to their stories telling them yours and reminding them that you are all on this journey together. What if the world around us is filled with hate? Lead it to love. How? By sharing the power of your love with it, said the road. What if something unexpected happens? Keep going. What if there are mountains that feel too tall to climb? What if there are rivers that feel too wide to cross? What if I get my heart broken? What if I feel stuck? What if giving up is easier? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, said the road. What happens if I cannot do it? You can, said the road. How do you know? Because you have come this far, said the road. I said to the road, where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. Did you know that the Balt students voted on their favorite Mindful Minute? No! Which one had the most votes? Rocket Ship Breathing! Woo Hi Balt Bears! Welcome back to another episode of Mindful Minute. This week we are going to learn a new breathing exercise. It is called Rocket Ship Breathing. Rocket Ship Breathing is a combination of slow breathing and counting backwards. Counting backwards is helpful because it requires your brain to do something different. It requires it to switch gears and focus on something other than what's bothering you. Let's begin by taking slow, deep breaths and get ready to count down. Now let's practice rocket ship breathing together. 10, breathe in and out. Nine, inhale, exhale, eight, breathe in, 
and out. Seven, deep breath in and let it out. Six, breathe in and out. Five, breathe in and out. Four, inhale. Exhale. Three, breathe in and let it out. Two, breathe in and out. One, deep breath in, let it out. This week, practice rocket ship breathing. And if you find yourself having big uncomfortable feelings, give it a try. Rocket ship breathing is a tool that will help your brain grow strong. One fun fact about me is that I love to read and I have several books that I've had since I was in elementary school that I still read today. This one I actually got from my school library when I was in elementary school and I found it later when I was grown up and bought it because I remembered reading it. Hi, fun fact about Miss O'Neill and Mrs. Malaseka. We're really busy teaching and thinking about teaching and learning all the time. So a few years ago, we decided that we wanted to spend a lot of time learning something new. We decided we wanted to learn to play tennis. We didn't know anything about tennis. We didn't even know how to hold the racket. So we got a coach. So this is our tennis teacher. They call it a tennis pro. Um, his name is uh, Coach Tony. And he teaches us everything we do. We play with him like three or four times a week. And sometimes, um, you know, we even play in tournaments and things like that. So it's great doing things with your friends. We've even joined tennis teams. And sometimes our teams have even won the championship. Last summer, we got to go to Princeton, New Jersey to compete in the next level of the championship. It's just really fun to keep on learning things throughout your life. We can never get enough. Hey Baltz Bears, Mrs. Scott here. Something you may not have known is that I have a collection of Santas. My family gets me one each year. I have about 30. Do you have a collection of anything? Fun fact, one time Miss Evelyn and I decided that we were gonna do bike to the bay. So we rode 50 miles on our bike. We started out where it was kind of like farmland and forests, and we rode on all these little small roads, and eventually we got to the beach, and we rode down the Route 1 where the ocean was on one side and the bay was on the other, and the last part of the 50 miles, you had to go up, up, up over the Indian River Inlet Bridge, and when you came down on the other side, you rode right to the finish. And it was a long, hard ride, but we felt really proud of ourselves after we finished. It was a big accomplishment. Hey Bolts Bears, I'm Miss Nellie and I am the school's lead secretary. I have this week's big question. Many of our teachers ask the questions throughout the read aloud. Can you identify at least three voices? Don't forget to turn in your answers by Wednesday afternoon to one of the many blue boxes. Good luck and have a great week. Hi everyone, this is Susie Paul and Ronnie from uh, Simeon Bleeker's Magical Sneakers. We just want to say a big congratulations on your 100th episode of Sunday Storytime. 
Thank you, Susie. That's right, everybody. We are the authors, Paul and I, and Susie, the illustrator of Simeon Bleeker's Magical Sneakers. Now, some of you learned about our book uh, a few months ago at the Baltz Elementary Book Concert. Uh, but Simeon Bleeker's Magical Sneakers is a children's book about a little boy with a magical pair of sneakers that allows him to go into the shoes of other friends who are different than him who he wants to learn more about. So uh, we have one book out and our next book is coming out very soon. So we are super excited to share that with you and be on the lookout for our next book. The three of us had so much fun when we came to Baltz Elementary and uh, participated in the book concert with you. And we know that Miss Bersanti, uh, the creator and producer of Sunday Storytime is a huge advocate for reading. And being a teacher, I also uh, am a huge advocate for reading. And it was so clear to us that when we came to Baltz Elementary, there are so many students who are passionate about reading. And we just wanted to get together to congratulate Miss Persanti on sharing her love for reading with the Baltz Elementary community and to congratulate her on her 100th episode. So thank you to Miss Persanti and thank you to all of the students who have grown in their love for reading as well. Good day, Baltz Bears. My name is Dr. Heather Townsend, and I am the author of Malachi Man, our modern day superhero, and Black Is. I am also a Baltz Bear alumni. If you look right there, you'll see my Baltz Bear. I want to wish you a happy, happy 100th Sunday story time. Congratulations and continue to do the fantastic work that you are doing. One, two, three, go books! Hi readers, my name is Bonnie Dietrich. I'm a second grade teacher and we live outside of Washington DC in Maryland. I am also an author. I just wrote this story called Recess Magic. Recess Magic is the story of a student named Grayson who uses a wheelchair and teaches his classmates not to be afraid of his wheelchair by using courage and kindness. Everybody has a story to tell. That's one of the questions I answer most about being an author. How do I write a story? So if you have a story to tell and everybody does, then you are a storyteller or an author. I hope to see one of your stories someday. Happy reading. Hey, Baltz Bears, it's me, Mr. J, and I teach second grade. You might be wondering why I am in this segment. Um, I actually am now a recent local author. Um, my book, Secrets in the Stars, was recently published. It's about outer space and exploring the stars and UFOs and much, much more. You can check it out on Amazon, or if you come stop by my classroom, I might even read you a sneak preview. Hello friends, my name is Matthew Swanson. My name is Robbie Bear. I'm an author of books. And I'm an illustrator of those very books. We live just down the road from you in Chestertown, Maryland. Yes. We're not very far away at all. We've been asked to tell you about the importance of reading. Reading is important. It's so important. We believe in reading. Also, looking at pictures is important. No, the words are much more important than the pictures. Nope. Pay no attention to the pictures. Nope. Uh, my, our, our pictures, blah, blah. okay. We made a book called Sunrise Summer. It's There's about Alaska. That. Yes. We made a book called Babies Are Everything. Yes, about that's, babies. That's called nonfiction. That means it's true. True. Um, Everywhere Wonder. It's a book about exploring the world. We also made a book about fortune cookies and another book about fortune cookies and another book about fortune cookies. Ah, oh, I've got to hold these books correctly. We made a book about siblings who solve mysteries together and another book about siblings who solve mysteries together and a third book. Friends, there are so many books of ours so that you books. can read. They have words and pictures. Look at all the pictures. That dance delightfully <laughs> together <laughs> in a kind of frantic tango <laughs> that makes the reading experience engaging and fun and yes. hilarious. So we hope. We sure do think highly of our own books, don't we? Friends, we have enjoyed having this chance to talk to you. We hope to meet you at some point. Like I said, not very far away. Come to Chestertown, stand yes. in the middle of town and say, Matthew, hey, Matthew Robbie, Robbie, where are you? We might show up or we might hide behind bushes. We drive through Wilmington all the time. We do. Mm -hmm. um, we also drive through Dover where your school is. So No, we, they're in Wilmington. They're in Wilmington. Baltz Elementary in Wilmington, Delaware. We also drive through... Nobody cares about Dover. Dover where your school isn't. 
I once went to Office Depot in Dover. No, nobody wants to hear about Dover. I'm just saying why I went there instead of to their school, which is in Wilmington, is what it I've been in told. The wrong Reading town. is important. Reading is important. All right, friends. So I was looking at pictures. Uh, enjoy your day. Mm -hmm. Read because it's important. It really it and does. And look at things. And look at things. Use your eyes in various ways. In some ways to read, in some ways to look at things, and then come to Chestertown. Yes. Mm, but or not Dover. <laughs> Stay with We've taken a long journey through lots of amazing books to get here. Don't forget to look back at all of the past Sunday story times and enjoy all the fantastic stories that we've read so far. I can't wait to see what happens next. Thanks for watching tonight's special episode and don't forget to tune in next weekend every Sunday night for the new episodes of Sunday Storytime. Looking forward to many more great books ahead. Hey guys, it's Miss Persani. Don't forget to like and share this video. And also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another episode. Thanks for watching and don't forget, you rock!